Hi, this is Chris Kuiper in the Fox 26 Weather Center. And have you heard about the upcoming Planetary Parade? It sounds pretty cool, but what exactly is it? You know, let's go take a look. Now, the Planetary Parade is an event happening in the nighttime sky here both tonight and tomorrow night as well, where we'll have seven planets above the horizon, and that should be for a very spectacular sight. However, there are a few caveats, and let's take a look at some of the uh, well, some of the things that might make it not quite as spectacular as it sounds like, uh, at least on paper. First off, uh, Saturn and Mercury, they will technically be above the horizon, but boy, just barely. So, I mean, if you have a house or a big tree in front of you, they're going to get blocked by that. And they're going to be setting very quickly in the nighttime sky as well. So for all intents and purposes, really not tremendously viewable, uh, Saturn and Mercury. So let's go ahead and eliminate those two. Next off, uh, we have Uranus and Neptune, which big planets, but boy, they are way out there. And generally, you need a telescope to see them. So with the naked eye, uh, as most of us are going to be viewing it, they're probably not really going to be visible. So let's go ahead and eliminate those two. So that leaves us with uh, Mars, Jupiter and Venus. Mars, a big bright red planet, always visible uh, in the nighttime sky. It's a beautiful sight to see. It's uh, well, not as big as the other two, but it's still a spectacular sight. Venus, my personal favorite, it's the brightest object in the nighttime sky. Brighter than, besides the moon, of course. Brighter than any star that we have. It's uh, It does set in the summertime, so you usually can't see it in the summertime. And then as we get towards the fall and winter, it starts to rise in the morning time. Right now here, as we approach spring, it is bright and visible in the evening western sky. Sky, just go outside and you see something bright out in the western sky. That's Venus. It's hard to miss. It's beautiful. Jupiter is the second largest object in the nighttime sky behind uh, Venus. Uh, so it is usually very bright and very visible as well. And uh, it's usually visible, I believe, all year long. So that's always a uh, spectacular sight to see as well. So planetary parade, seven planets above the horizon. Sounds great, but you have to temper expectations a bit because only three of the planets are really going to be obviously viewable. Another problem is that our skies may not always be clear the whole time. Now here on this Thursday evening, I can see Venus shining brightly in the western sky and also Jupiter a little higher up. You see it uh, shining well off in the distance there. Also, we have some clouds coming our way every now and then, and those clouds at times could block out our view of the planets. So maybe temper your expectations a little bit, but still Venus, Jupiter, and a few other planets are still always a spectacular sight to go check out in the evening sky.